Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this series, we're gonna be going through Mars in the houses. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about having Mars in your fourth house, okay? Mars in the fourth house. And before we get into that, first we gotta know what Mars and the fourth house is. And first with Mars, Mars is the planet of adrenaline, of action, of movement, of your physical body, the warrior. Think of athletics, think of warriors, think of sports, think of energy, think of adrenaline. Mars rules your anger, your temper, your physical body, your energy, your sex, your instincts. It's very primitive, primitive okay? Mars rules Aries, it's about that action, energetic, very physical, okay? This is the energy that makes us an existence, okay? This is energy, okay? Mars is energy. Um, in the most direct sense. And then you have the fourth house. The fourth house deals with your family, okay? Um, and how you're nurtured emotionally and how you develop emotionally and the emotional connections you make with your family and how that impacts all the connections and relationships you make later on and also how it impacts your emotional health and your mental health. Like this is the fourth house, very emotional house it's the family it's what makes you feel at home it's how healthy of a home you know so so when you have mars in the fourth house the first thing i'm gonna say is that there's a lot of adrenaline and action and energy and even confrontation in the family dynamic okay so your family could have been a very energetic family lots of movement going on but also lots of confrontation, okay? Um, anger, yelling, um, you know, or, and even if it isn't as negative as that, because it doesn't have to be as negative as anger, but just a lot of like friction, okay? Um, and action going on. Um, and that dynamic impacted you, okay? Because our family dynamics represents the first primary dynamics and relationships we're creating so again like i said this really impacts your personality okay and you have when i will say with mars and fourth house people is you have that um mars energy in your soul you know because you're so used to seeing so much action so much um confrontation too okay so confrontation in the home okay and this could, um, Mars in the fourth house can feel like a lack of peace in the home as well, too. So, um, this is not really the best, um, placement necessarily for Mars. Um, not because Mars can't do what it needs to do, but what it's doing can cause a lot of friction. And when it comes to the fourth house, which is, again, your emotions, your home, you want it to feel at peace you want it to feel secured you want it to feel stable and good and when you have mars here just you know getting so much things happening it could be intense and a lot okay so this you know manifests a very intense soul okay because you're used to seeing so much of it and yes it could lead into you know it could be lots of confrontation seeing lots of fights in home um and making you kind of angry okay because you can't find your peace because there's so much anger so much friction going around okay parents yelling at you having lots of friction with you um it can disturb your kind of peace and, and you know kind of develop an angry kind of soul um you know um in a sense, you know, and I don't say it defines you, but it has this kind of like subconscious influence in you. And, you know, with all this friction and confrontation and yelling, okay, because Mars is very, the, again, when I say wherever Mars is in your houses, it represents where fighting is going on. Um, all this action, this friction, you know, disturbing your peace, this makes you you know kind of an independent person yourself okay because you had to fight so much in your family home dynamic get into arguments get into fights you know and get and we're talking about very angered ones you know dealing with so much anger you had to rely on yourself you know you had to realize that you don't have a connection you don't have people that you can so 
you know, lay your head on and, and feel that support because there's so much friction. So it makes you independent. A lot of people with Mars in the fourth house have this certain independence, this natural independence in them because they were raised in very confrontational fighting homes, okay? It makes you independent because you realize early on that you can't rely on someone or you there's not always a soft pillow to lay on and that you're gonna have to be on your own and that you can't rely on it because Mars is sitting over here causing all this fire, you know, in your place of home. Okay, so again, like I said, with the fourth house, it's a very strong house because it really um, impacts you psychologically and emotionally so and soulfully. So again, it, it makes you a very independent person for the worst and for the best because in it, being an independent person is very good. You know, these people can go on on their own and take on challenges their own because they're, they're warriors to the soul. But it can also cause a lack of peace or a lack of ability to create a home because you're so independent. You can't create relationships because you're always on your own and you've had so much confrontation and you can't get into like, you know, this sense of comfort. So, you know, you got to be um, careful and aware of that um, Mars and fourth house people. Also, Mars and fourth house can represent you again being the leader in the family. Um, Mars being that independent, you know, take action energy. Um, besides the confrontation and the fighting, there just could have been a lot of independence, you know, your family putting you in the front line, you having to be on your own really early and take on independent responsibilities. Um, this energy can make you naturally a leader because you're used to being on your own and people will follow you. So Mars in the fourth house you know, these could be the leaders in the family, too, because they were put, you know, on their own in the forefront so early on. OK, so, um, yes, very strong leaders in the family as well, too. Um, but, you know, they need nurturing as well. Um, there also this can cause a lack of sensitivity, you know, again, because of, you know, the the lack of support you know because again like being the leader being put in the forefront you know yes you can yes that can manifest a strong person but that also represents a person that has a lack of support because if you're being put in the forefront um and this deals with your childhood because the fourth house is how you're being emotionally developed so a lot of these things are happening at a very young age so you know, being put in the forefront at such a young age is more so a lack of support. Yes, you develop an independence, but it was done through a lack of support, of constant, constantly being traumatized into the front, you know, in a sense. Because all, all young people, all everyone needs support, and that's what the soul is, you know, and this is what the family is. It's about supporting energy, so... There is a sense of trauma that comes with like, you know, being always the leader and stuff. And this can make, you know, Mars the fourth house people can lack, you know, sensitivity, you know, not understand the idea of support and comfort. You know, all those stuff can be too gushy gushy with them because they are so used to being nurtured with a lack of that. So these are like not the gushy gushy type of people now it could depend on your whole chart but just this um placement um alone just as you look at it alone you know manifests you know a warrior at a soul but because you're such a warrior at a soul you lack sensitivity you know um also mars in the fourth house just like i said family um it could get even um specific with the mother you know, um, the, or the nurture of the family, you know, the way they nurtured you, the, um, the way they nurtured you, they could have nurtured you. Your mother could have been a very independent, fierce person, you know, whoever was the nurture of the family, you know, they could have been very independent. A lot of people, Mars the fourth house, their mothers, you know, um, not all the time, but it could manifest in the way where your mother, 
you know, is very independent, you know, very, you know, fierce, you know, all those type of ways you, you looked at her in that type of way because she resembled that type of energy in some way, you know, all of that could be a manifestation of Mars in the fourth house. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, that is Mars in the fourth house, you know very you know interesting placement you know this is not the most comfortable place you know for mars because the fourth house is looking for comfort and family and closeness and you know mars is just very combative and fiery and independent so it, it can be a challenge um but try your best to heal yourself that's always the best way but you know that is mars in the fourth house i hope you guys enjoyed that um, and come back for some more if you did. And if you did, book a reading with me. I do astral readings, um, birth natal chart readings. Just email me. We can go forward with that. And also check out my music. Okay, I have on Spotify, Apple, and here on YouTube. I'll have all the links in the description box below. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. What's big bars, tight locks, everything close Your tools ain't cut for the mold Chin up, back straight, stand up, everything bold You stay cause you're trying to get in Fashion, movements, currents, routines and trends Can't give cause you're trying to go win Comfort, standard, that value, assimilation